PVL 2601 dealing with the variable consequences of a civil marriage and a marriage out of community of property. Act for which the other spouse's consent is unnecessary. No consent is required for jurist for juristic acts not mentioned in the matrimonial property act consent is not required for transactions listed in sections 15 2 b c f g and h if they are performed by a spouse in the ordinary course of his or her profession, trade, or business. Repeat, consent is not required for transactions listed in sections 15, 2, B, C, F, G, and H, if they are performed by a spouse in the ordinary course of his or her profession trade or business section 157 exempts transactions on the stock exchange concerning listed securities and transactions concerning deposits at banking at a banking institution in the name of the spouse who wishes to deal with the deposit from the consent requirement protective measurement uh, protective measures in respect of the administration of the joint estate protection of third parties section 159 of the matrimonial property act protects a third party who enters into a transaction with the person who is married in community of property if the third party does not know and cannot reasonably be expected to know that the person's spouse had to consent to the transaction or that the necessary consent was not obtained repeat Section 15.9 of the Matrimonial Property Act protects a third party who enters into a transaction with a person who is married in community of property if the third party does not know and cannot reasonably have been expected to know that the person's spouse had to consent to the transaction or that the necessary consent was not obtained. In such a circumstance, the transaction is deemed to have been entered into with the required consent. The transaction is therefore valid and enforceable. This is most probably an objective test from the perspective of the reasonable person. A, jurist, a juristic act contravening the consent requirement is invalid. Repeat, a juristic act contravening the consent requirement is invalid. Protection of the parties inter partes, between parties. Number one, statutory right to adjustment upon dissolution of the joint estate. Repeat, statutory right to adjustment upon dissolution of the joint estate. Section 15.9b of the Matrimonial Property Act 
governs the position if a spouse enters into a transaction with a third party while he or she knows or ought reasonably to know that his or her spouse will probably not consent to the transaction if the joint estate suffers a loss if the joint estate suffers a loss as a result of the transaction an adjustment must be effected upon division of the joint estate in favor of the spouse whose consent was not obtained the same applies if the spouse enters into the transaction while his or her power to deal with the joint estate has been suspended dispensing with the other spouse's consent if consent cannot be obtained for some reason or if a spouse unreasonably withholds consent the court can authorize the transaction in terms of 161 of the matrimonial property act the court will only grant consent if it is satisfied that a good reason exists for dispensing with the other spouse's consent repeat dispensing with the other spouse's consent if consent cannot be obtained for some reason or if a spouse unreasonably withholds consent the court can authorize the transaction in terms of section 16 1 of the matrimonial property act the court will only grant consent if it is satisfied that a good reason exists for dispensing with the other spouse's consent if consent cannot be obtained for some reason or if a spouse unreasonably withholds consent the court can authorize the transaction in terms of section 16 1 of the matrimonial property act the court will only grant consent if it is satisfied that a good reason exists for dispensing with the other spouse's consent